in that class, actually two of them, they're very closely related, and I did mention one in one of the other videos, is the dead bug and the happy baby. Kind of interesting that they would both be somewhat similar. This is the dead bug. If you've seen some commercials on TV, especially from the old days, back where I'm from, <laughs> the bugs would turn over on their backs as they would die. I don't know why, but that's what they would do. Now, if I lower my legs from the knees and I slightly bend my hands back and I slightly arch my back, there's a the happy baby. Maybe lift my head up a little bit. Dead bug. Happy baby. So these moves are really similar, but here's what they're really doing. They're working the core top to bottom. When I go to the happy baby, I arch the back considerably. When I go to the dead bug, I'm more pushing it down. When I raise the head up, now I'm really flattening the lower back. If I want to work it, now I'm going to reach back. See how much I'm arching my back here? Reaching up. So when I come back, I've got to push it down flat. I reach out the back, bring the elbows back forward, legs, happy baby, dead bug. Watch the neck when you go to the happy baby. Don't put too much stress on your neck muscles. But here for the dead bug, we can also vary the size. Hands go one way, legs go another. That's when you're comfortable with the move. Remember, the body works in all areas and degrees. You're not a machine. It's not just forward and back. Move it around. When you develop the strength, test yourself. Work with it at varying levels. But this is a great how-to move. The, the happy baby doesn't require too much. The dead bug, even less. Well, you do have some pressure here on the quad. You can work the dead bug up from the bottom. You can work the dead bug up from the top. Again, watch the net. All these moves, low or no impact. Take your time, build your strength, be good to yourself. Personal trainer Sam Strength, Power Play Fitness. See you next time.